What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video We've got some more NFL players talking trash on Madden And you know that I like to make videos like this every once in a while when NFL players come You know on Twitter or whatever the case may be and speak out on Madden you usually find it pretty amusing Sometimes they got funny things to say sometimes they're fed up with the game and say they're not playing it anymore Whether it be over their ratings or just over the gameplay itself sometimes so uh, earlier in the year of course when the game first dropped you know, I did a couple videos on the uh, players reacting to their ratings. A lot of people usually are mad because they want to be rated higher. It's usually funny. Sometimes they do it in video form. Sometimes they just put a tweet on Twitter. Uh, could be different ways that they like to do it. And then, you know, throughout the year, we've had guys like Leonard Fournette express his frustration with Madden, both due to his ratings and other things. We've seen Carry On Johnson a bunch of times go at Madden. Um, you know, sometimes for his ratings, but sometimes because he hates the gameplay. And, you know, a lot of people agree with Carryon Johnson. A lot of people don't love Madden's gameplay. Uh, you know, so a lot of people agree with him when he likes to go in on Madden. But today, we've got some new guys going in on Madden. Uh, some pretty big names, in my opinion. So, I was just scrolling through Twitter uh, earlier today, and this popped up on my timeline from Joe Mixon. Somebody retweeted it. He said, no more Madden NFL for me till they can get it right this ain't no cap. Now, basically what no cap means for those of you out there, maybe some of you older folks that don't know the, the young guy lingo, no cap pretty much means that he, you know, he's not lying. He's telling the truth, right? He's not, he's not BSing, right? So then Trey Carson, uh, responded to Joe Mixon and he, he put the laughing emoji with a bunch of cap emojis. Now, what he's basically saying back to Joe Mixon here is, you're full of BS, you know, you're not done playing Madden, like, cut it out, like, you're capping, basically, like, you're just, you're talking trash, but you're not really serious, and he responded back to that, on my mama, bro, it's over with, now, Joe Mixon's one of the better running backs in the league, and in my opinion, honestly, I think Joe Mixon could, in a good situation, right, Cincinnati is not a good situation right now, they're the worst team in the league, in fact, but in a good situation, I think Joe Mixon has top five running back talent, he's super talented, both running and and in the receiving game, right? So, I think most people know that about Joe Mixon, that no football. They know that Joe Mixon is a pretty talented runner. But, being in Cincinnati, you know, last year he had a pretty decent year in his second year. But this year, Cincinnati is about as bad as it could get, right? So, it's going to be hard for him to put up, you know, good numbers. You know, it is what it is. And I think that he's probably feels disrespected over his rating is what I'm thinking right, and his, he's got an 85 overall rating, which honestly, I think is pretty good for the, the current state of Joe Mixon, like I said, being in that situation that he's in, but of course, if you feel like you're a top five running back talent, which I believe Joe Mixon actually is, 85 is probably too low for your liking, so then he put out another tweet, and he said, I play too much Madden for too many hours a day for them to play with me like that, no more, so again, I'm assuming he's talking about his rating, he didn't really talk about gameplay or mention anything specific, he's probably talking about his rating, probably also the fact that he's not a superstar player, because I want to say that he may have tweeted something months ago about that he should have a superstar ability or something like that, we have seen him throw some mean stiff arms, uh, in his first few years in the league, quite a few this year, and some people were saying, well, why doesn't he get the stiff arm ability or something like that, because Joe Mixon is absolutely a superstar running back, he's just in one of the worst situations in football right now, and there's not really much he can do about that, so, we got some guys responding to this, so we got Charles James II, now, many of you may remember him from Hard Knocks a few years back with the Texans, I don't believe he's currently playing in the league, uh, but he did make the Texans a few years ago as one of their cornerbacks, and he sent out a tweet to Equipment Guru, who is an EA employee. He said, get my boy right. Now, Equipment Guru re responded back, and he said, kind of throwing some shade in my opinion, he said, I think we give credit pretty fair considering the year so far. Now, Equipment Guru, for those of you who don't know, he's the main ratings adjuster guy. He's also the guy that puts all the equipment in the game. Those are like his two main things, as far as I know, that he does. So he's basically saying, I think Joe Mixon's fairly rated, you know, based on the season he's having so far. And to be fair, he's not lying. Joe Mixon is currently not on pace to rush for a thousand yards. He only has one rushing TD right, but again, his situation is bad. I think we all know his situation is bad, and we all know that he's a really good running back, but, you know, when your yardage totals are, are you know, kind of down as his are right now, you know, 
this I guess there's some give and take there. Now, the surprising thing is Kyler Murray even chimed in on this, right? Uh, one of the most electrifying young guys in the league, one of the better rookies this year. He's getting better as the year goes on. He's actually playing better than I thought he would. He's been really, really solid. And he responded uh, to Joe Mixon and said, the game is terrible, bro. I still don't got escape artists. Now, Kyler Murray has a point here because... When you talk about escape artist quarterbacks, Kyler Murray is 110% that. And we've seen it so far in his rookie year. We saw it in college. He is an escape artist. That is one of his best abilities as just a football player, period. It's his ability to evade those tackles, to move with his legs, to get yards with his legs, right? And he still doesn't have escape artists. And there's some other guys in the game that, you know, you could argue should probably have escape artists as well. Uh, I think when you look at the abilities plus the ratings this year, EA is just honestly now given... Uh, you know, these football players even more to complain about because it used to just be the ratings, right? Oh, my speed's too slow. Oh, my catching's too low. My overall's too low. But now, especially with how Madden 20 plays, abilities are everything this year. And that's kind of the, the thing a lot of people feared was abilities being everything and to the, to the point where if you don't have abilities, it almost feels like you're useless unless you're just super fast, right? Tyree Kill doesn't have an ability, but he's 99 speed. So in a sense, that's like an ability in itself because he's super fast, you know? But outside of speed, if you don't have an ability, you know, you're almost useless, right? So if you're a Kyler Murray, it doesn't matter that he, I believe, is the second fastest QB on the game behind Lamar Jackson. The fact that he doesn't have escape artists, he feels almost useless when you try to scramble with him. He feels super slow, whereas if you scramble with even Russell Wilson, right, who is much slower than Kyle Murray, but Russell Wilson has the escape artist ability, he feels twice as fast as Kyler Murray. And he's not as fast as Kyler Murray, but it's just because of that ability. So, you know, you can really understand why he would be frustrated with that. And we know that they're going to, you know, be updating the abilities and the, and the X factors throughout the year. We've already seen them do it a few times, but we haven't seen them do it. It feels like within maybe like the past month. So there's definitely needs to be some updates there. You know, guys like Kyler Murray should have escape artists. You got to look at guys like Dak who's having a good year. He doesn't have any abilities. You know, Deshaun Watson and uh, Lamar Jackson are guys that probably should be X factors at this point. They don't have it. So, uh, you know, that's kind of up in the air now. What are they, they going to do with these abilities? And then guys like Joe Mixon, when you look at the, how this game is and how it's such a run heavy game, uh, the running abilities are so important to that though. So, Joe Mixon doesn't have any ability, so when you compare him to any running back that has a jukebox or an arm bar or even a spin cycle, those guys can make defenders miss so much easier than a guy like Joe Mixon. Even though Joe Mixon has good ratings, even though he's one of the fastest running backs in the game, when you don't have any of those running back abilities, you feel very regular this year. Like, your, your jukes are slow, your spins are typically pretty slow, your stiff arms aren't going to be as successful, your broken tackles typically aren't going to be as successful either, so... It makes guys, even that, you know, guys that are rated good, it makes them feel useless. And that's something EA definitely has to balance. But what was funny was, uh, so Kyler Murray put the tweet out about the game being terrible and not having escape artists. And the Madden GOAT himself, Problem Right, even quote tweeted this. And he said, this is the tweet of the day. And I would have to agree because that's pretty funny. Um, it's Because it's funny to see a player not really just say like, oh, the game's just bad because my ratings are bad. But to literally reference like, man, how do I not have escape artists? And it's true. Kyler Murray should definitely have escape artists. And you look at guys like, you know, even a, a uh, Carson Wentz, for example, like... You know, maybe he's not as fast as some of these other guys, but he's shown that he can be an escape artist. He's really good at, at evading, uh, you know, pass rush and pursuit from defenders. So, you know, there's a lot of guys you got to look into. Joe Mixon maybe should have the stiff arm ability. Um, like I said, guys like Watson and Lamar Jackson should probably have X factors at this point. And you look at a guy like Phillip Rivers who's struggling, he still has his X factor. So maybe that's somebody that should lose it and honestly probably will lose it the next time they do the, the ability update. You got Miles Garrett who's suspended for the rest of the year. So he will likely for sure be losing his X factor and his ability. So those are a couple names right there that could be losing it. So you can have guys like a Joe Mixon or a Kyler Murray kind of come into, you know, the exclusive club because they said that X factors are going to stay at 50 and superstar players there's obviously more than 50 of those, but they don't want it to get too out of hand to where, you know, just they're handing it out to everybody. But there's certainly still quite a few players in this game 
that should have abilities and don't. So, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know below. Do you think these guys are just whining and complaining? Do you think that they have a valid point? Who do you guys think need some abilities or even that their ratings are just jacked up? Because I know you guys leave those in my comments all the time. So, let me know what you think. And as always, I will see you guys next time.